What's going on everyone? My name is Savage and we are back here on Arcade Unchained making our first video post launch. Um, I know that for a lot of people who are new or who are returning to the game, a lot has changed, uh, particularly all of this Haram infusion stuff and all these Haram dailies, and it can be a little overwhelming. So today what this video is going to be is a quick overview of all the methods in which you can acquire Haram infusions and scrolls and which of these dailies, what reward you should be taking from them uh, at each one. Now, the first one that you're going to run into is going to become available to you at level 52. It's Diamond Shores. All right, this one's very simple. You only have one option. You just take it. It's three, three grand unidentified infusions. Um, you just deal with that one as it is. It's really simple. You kill 50 mobs. Uh, fortunately, it's really direct. Uh, the next one that you're going to have is in Sun Gold and Exalock. Now, a lot of reset raids will start off going Diamond Shores, Sun Gold, Exalock through the whole process. So if you're in a reset raid, you'll find a pretty common pattern that uh, they do every single day. So once you go to Sun Gold, uh, it's going to share the exact same quest as Exalock. Um, it's the same thing, 50 mobs. Um, however, this one gives you two reward options. It gives you five Haram Awakening Scrolls or three Grand Mysterious Ram Infusions. Now, for the first few weeks, the month of the months of the game, depending on your luck, I encourage you to only be taking the Haram Awakening Scrolls for this until you have all of your gear to T2. Take these scrolls, do not take these green infusions at all. You're going to need as many of these scrolls as you can get because it takes 10 scrolls per chance at awakening. So if you fail, you need another 10. Fail again, another 10, another 10, another 10, another 10, and so on. It's really easy to go through these scrolls when you're doing it for every single piece of gear because you're not guaranteed to awaken it every time on the first try. And if it crystallizes, well, you got to decrystallize it and then you got to use 10 scrolls on top of that. I implore you to take these scrolls early on from these quest rewards over the infusions. You can get infusions from a lot of other places. And we'll get into that in just a little bit. So same thing for x -Lock as well. Uh, take the scrolls. Um, the next one that you're going to end up going to as I look for my teleport scroll is going to be Reedwind. Um, Reedwind is the only one for whatever reason, um, that is 100 mobs, all right? You have to kill 100 mobs in Reedwind. Uh, and it gives the same sort of reward um, right here at this guy. And you will choose, however, between 10 scrolls or five infusions. Again, take the 10 scrolls. You're going to need them, I promise you, all right? Now, eventually, once you have everything that is T2 the way you want it to be T2, then you start taking all the green infusions. But don't open them hold on to them i'll tell you why a little bit all right so after you get to that one we're gonna go now we're gonna go to the western haram mountains all right western haram mountains you're thinking okay fine diamond shores sun gold x lock reedwind you take the scrolls good stuff sounds nice all right western haram surely surely now we're going to take that is not actually a portal to the western haram mountains um that is the entrance exit of reedwind uh, surely now, uh, we will want to take the infusions. Wrong. You do not want to take the infusions yet, all right? In the Western Haram Mountains for these quests, I implore you still to take the scrolls that these give you. Once you awaken to T2, it will not take that long to get to the point of being able to awaken them to T3, all right? The thing is that changes with this is that for T two awakenings, instead of it take instead of it costing ten scrolls, it costs twenty five scrolls per attempt. So now, when you get to these quests and you do these dailies, you have the option of three uh, radiant Haram infusions or seven radiant Haram awakening scrolls. So take that quest. And you get the other two quests from Illusion Cave over here, all right? 
that's still only 21 scrolls a day. So even if you do all three dailies and you select the Awakening Scrolls, you still don't even have enough for one attempt at Awakening. So I encourage you still strongly take the Awakening Scrolls when you're doing these dailies. Don't take those infusions. I know they're blue, they're pretty. You wanna take them. They're gonna give you the highest you know, XP infusions that you can get, right? I understand that but it's not legacy on legacy there's additional quests that you can buy from the marketplace for gold uh and for free that give you extra scrolls and infusions and so there's a lot more of it available there not the case here you don't have an extra resource of these scrolls um to acquire them from you only have the one now the next one is going to be let's do the waterfall all right eastern haram mountains all right you're not going to be able to do uh, these quests, um, so I should also specify Western Haram Mountains, you cannot do these until level 55, all right? Same thing with the Eastern Haram Mountain ones, you cannot do these until level 55, all right? The Eastern Haram Mountain ones are much more difficult and will require a full raid or an organized, you know, small party uh, early on in the game uh, because of people's gear, they're going to get crushed by the mobs. Now, now that we are here, these quests, as you complete them, Take the Haram Infusions, all right? T4, Awakening from T3 to T4 is so far off the map for the majority of the player base um, early on in the game. Take the large amount of infusions that you can acquire here. Uh, you do not need this, the Haram Awakening Scrolls just yet. Um, it's very... <laughs> very costly um to pass up on infusions every time but you're getting a large amount of the infusions here you're getting 10 from this quest um and i believe one of the other quests gives 20 all right so you can get a large amount of the blue infusions per day and that's still going to use up a lot of your labor strictly opening those infusions right even if you do take the scroll say you say you know what forget savage i don't care what he says that's fine. This is my opinion, all right? Um, you can still acquire infusions from so many other locations. The reason why it's important to take the blue infusions, though, is that they are going to give you the most XP per infusion, so you have to use less infusions on your synthesis, synthesis process on your gear, so you're using less labor because you're not having to use so many infusions to reach that same amount of XP uh, feeding into your gear. So it saves you a little bit of labor in that sense. However, uh, it, it is a smaller amount of infusions that you're taking per day. Um, now, other ways that you can acquire infusions outside of these dailies, uh, you can farm them, right? Naturally, you can farm them from the mobs. When you farm them out here, you'll get the blue infusions. When you farm them in Western Haram Mountains, you'll get green infusions. You'll get um, basic basic unidentified infusions in locations like Markala and um, Hedmar and those areas. And it's important to hold on to those, right? Additionally to that, uh, your arenas. So things like Drill Camp Arena give rewards like Radiant Infusion Supply Kits. So you can get um, in these boxes three Radiant Infusions. So do these every day because that's another if you do it five times a day and you win five times that's 15 blue infusions do these all right do them do them do them if you don't like pvp that's fine even if you lose you still get one you're still going to get an infusion that's still another five a day and you're going to get curio ba curios badges on top of that which are good as well you're going to need those also for stat migration all right outside of that you're going to get them from golden uh the golden plains battle halcyona all right, these give a crate that give a bunch of infusions right here, improved infusion supply kits, all right? These give 20 of the green ones, all right? That's a lot, all right? Now, I don't know if Kadem is still giving them. Um, I don't see anything about it as a reward. Uh, I know they changed the way Kadem works. I haven't done it yet in this version of the game, so I'm not sure at the moment, but I can tell you that uh, Fall of Haram City does give them as part of the quest, um, along with Honor as well. 
So Fall of Harom City is another resource that is going to give you these infusions. On top of that, CR and GR quests also give you these locked boxes that have more green infusions in them. So guys, girls, this is why I encourage you to take the scrolls from your quests, right? Take the scrolls because you are going to be able to acquire infusions from so many other resources in the game where you only have a very finite resource of scroll acquisition. So it's really important to acquire the scrolls when you can, all right? Um, that's pretty much the main thing about that. Now, you're probably thinking, but hey, wait, Savage, you told me, hold on to a lot of these infusions, hold on to them, keep them, don't, don't open them, all right? Now, the reason for that is that in 6.0, once castles come out, all right, there is a new crafting that you can do at the castle workbenches, and that is a conversion of infusions, all right? You can convert 20 basic infusions into 10 mysterious Haram infusions, all right? You can convert one blue salt bond and one territory coin, which you acquire from doing a daily at the castles, into 12 radiant Haram infusions. And the last one is 40, which this is a bug, guys, all right? I don't know if this is intended or not for us, but in Korea, this is supposed to be 40 grand Haram infusions, not 40 basic ones, all right? It's 40 grand ones. Right? and to make 10 Radiant Haram infusions. So even if you stockpile the green ones and the basic ones, you can convert them into blue ones, all right? The ones that give you the most XP. So hold on to a lot of these infusions. If you can acquire a bunch of Radiant Haram infusions from doing your uh, arenas, uh, doing the events, and taking them from these Eastern Haram Mountain dailies, you will have plenty of infusions to use on your gear while still getting all of the necessary scrolls that you need. And as you build up those green ones as well, uh, you're going to be able to convert them, all right? You're going to reach a point in the game where you're gonna have more infusions than you have labor that you can spend. So it's okay that you have some left over because later on, you're gonna be able to convert them into a higher valued one um, at a smaller portion. So that will also ultimately save you labor. And that's the other thing. It costs zero labor to convert. Also, actually, it's different on here. In KR, it costs zero labor to convert. For us, it's five labor. Five labor is not a lot. That's okay. <laughs> um, that's no problem. Five labor, it's really cheap to do. You're good. You're golden. All right. Um, but that's the main thing, guys. So I hope this helps people understand the value of where to get these infusions from and that the dailies are not a means to an end for acquiring these infusions. Um, and, but it is a means to an end for acquiring the scrolls. The only other way to acquire the scrolls is through mob grinding for them. Um, so I seriously encourage you take the scrolls over anything else. That's all this is going to be for now. Have a great night, everybody. I hope everybody had a great land grab. Those of you that were able to get in, those of you who are still trying to get in, there is still land. Um, stay at it. I know the queue is brutal. Um, apologize for anybody that's stuck in the queue i sympathize with you it is it's not been a fun process but we'll talk about that in another video for everybody all right everybody have a great night those of you who know you can find me on twitch at twitch.tv slash zavage and definitely drop a sub on the youtube channel as well keep up to date with any of our new videos have a good one see you in air north